Hi, my name is Charles Palmer with Patriot Vision Industries. Today we're going to do a brief overview on the Patriot VRM10. What this device is, is a fully operational Samsung Galaxy Tab A that will be able to be used to not just magnify documents and read out loud, but it's also fully functional Android-based operating system where you could browse the web, check your email, watch YouTube videos, and so forth. It also could do distance viewing, so if you're maybe in a classroom type of setting and you want to look at a chalkboard across the room, it folds flat into a little carrying case and weighs under five pounds. And when you place it onto the table like so, you could get the document here underneath. And then we have a bunch of different icons that are enlarged on the screen. The first one I'm going to open up is the magnifier icon. Magnifier started. And with the magnifier icon, with your documents underneath, this is like a CCTV mode where with one finger we'll focus the camera. Pinching in or out, we'll zoom in or out on the document. And then tapping with three fingers, black. we'll change to different colors. Black on green. Green on black. You got all of your different colors on here, like white on black, black on uh, white. Yeah, yellow on uh, black, black on yellow, green on black, black on green, blue on yellow, blue on yellow, yellow on blue, yellow on blue gray, gray scale, original. original for if you're looking at family photos or pictures, let's say. High contrast. High contrast, which is just a little bit of a brighter version of true color. Black on white. And then it goes back to black on white and white on black. What's cool about the device is uh, I'm going to walk over some of these buttons here. Uh, the first one on the bottom left is you could uh, get inside the settings to change the volume, rate, language, um, the voice that it speaks in, either a female or male voice. So that's the settings. The second icon here is to actually freeze the image that you're looking at. So you could kind of ma navigate around with one finger on that frozen still image. The last icon is the reader icon, which will switch between the reader and the magnifier on the top left here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the home button, and that's going to get back to the desktop of the Android-based operating system. On the desktop, you not only, we were just in the magnifier, but you also have the reader icon on here as well that you could open up directly through the desktop. Reader started. And, and on the desktop, and you open up the reader icon, you could actually take pictures of the document by tilting up on the tablet just like so. Take, take picture. Picture taken. And when the picture is taken, which is just by tapping anywhere on the middle of the tablet there, you could tilt it back down at that point. It'll take a little Using bit to process here. The Patriot menu, select the reader option by double tapping anywhere on this picture that it just took will pause the document from reading out loud. You could pinch in or out, just like before, to zoom in or out. Uh, you can navigate with one finger this frozen image that you took. Uh, tapping with three fingers will change to different color modes. It has all the different color modes on here that live mode here, uh, has, so you'll be set doing that. And then um, wherever you want it to read, if you tap that spot, Understand the various mechanics by it starts reading from that point on. I'm going to pause it again. I just tapped anywhere on the screen. I'm going to go over some of the icons here along the left. The bottom left one is to save documents. So if you want to pull them up at a later time, you could save documents. The second icon here is to actually go back to original color original. mode. And then from there, it'll start over the whole color mode uh, cycling process again by tapping with three fingers there. Uh, the last icon is going to be the X. If I press that, X it gets back started. out of reading that document that I took a picture of and it's on to the page where you're ready to take a picture of a new document uh, if you want. I'm going to walk over some of these icons on this screen that we were just at before and I got back to. Uh, the t uh, bottom right one is going to be to a little folder icon that's going to be to pull up save documents that you saved uh, earlier, previously I should say. Uh, the second icon is going to be a table detection mode. When this is off, it'll read straight across the columns um, whereas if you are, if that's on, which most people are going to want that on, um, it's going to read column by column mode. So uh, table detection mode, that's when it's disabled, that would be good for like bank statements if you want to read straight across something. But for most people, you're going to be wanting to read column by column. So that's going to be enabled for the most part. The bottom middle icon is the settings, which, which once again, you change the language, volume, rate, voice, all that kind of stuff could be adjusted inside the settings there. The uh, 
button that's yellow right here, the second to the last one on the left side here, is actually toggling between original mode and wrapped mode. Uh, original mode is what we were looking at where it was a frozen image that you can navigate around with one finger. But if I press the wrapped mode again, reading mode wrapped. it's going to say wrapped mode. And I'm going to take the picture of the wrapped mode here um, just to kind of illustrate exactly what that difference is. Take picture. So when it starts reading out loud documents in wrapped mode, it's not going to be the frozen image, but it's going to be more of a solid white on black or black on white color mode like this, kind of like a ticker tape mode, if you will, where you could still zoom in with one or uh, by pinching in or out with uh, two fingers, I should say. Tapping with three fingers, you still change to different colors. And then you could also navigate up or down on the document by dragging up or down with one finger. So this is wrapped mode that you'll be able to have here. You got your pause and play in the bottom middle, your left and right arrows to skip forward or backward a sentence at a time. And then when you're done reading the document, just like before, you're going to press the X on the top left. Reader started. The last icon on the bottom left here is to actually save documents directly without taking the picture to process it. So when you tilt up on the tablet and you have your document set up, you could just press the bottom left one um, and flip the page to the next picture press it again, it'll keep saving documents the more and more you go. Uh, of course, on the top left, you have your little magnifier icon, which uh, just like on the magnifier mode, it has the reader icon. So it toggles between the two with that top left um, icon there. If I exit back out by pressing the home button, you could do distance viewing uh, built into this de device. Just like so, you could open up the camera and then looking by tilting the tablet kind of like this uh, against the back of the stand. You'll be able to pinch in or out to zoom in or out. This is good if you're maybe looking at a chalkboard across the room um, for students. And uh, also, too, if you want to watch maybe television at your home and you have it set up at a table that you want to look across the room with. So distance mode is built in, as well as there's an optional uh, accessory kit that you could purchase to have a Bluetooth camera connected with like a little gooseneck clamp that you could clamp onto a desk uh, that is optical zoom, so it'll be a little bit clearer as opposed to the digital zoom built in. Um, also, as you may have noticed, on the right side here is going to be this uh, red bar. What's cool about this red bar is it's actually a screen reader where if I open up anywhere where there's print on the tablet, I'm going to open up an email, let's say, for example. You have the red bar along the right side where I could drag with one finger User that red bar. Wherever I move my finger, it starts reading from there on out. Now if I let go, it reads from there on out going downward. The bar now turns green, indicating go. If I tap that green bar, it turns back red and it stops from reading uh, from being read out loud. This could essentially be anywhere on the tablet where there's print. It's not necessarily just an email, but it could be like a Wikipedia article or something online, uh, somewhere in the settings. Anywhere where there's print, it should be able to read out loud uh, that print by just dragging that red bar for you. If I exit back out, like I mentioned before, it's a fully operational uh, 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 Android device. So you'll be able to uh, browse the web, watch YouTube videos, watch Netflix, you know, check your email. Everything that you would be able to do on a Samsung Galaxy Tab A is what you'll be able to do on this device. And then, of course, folding it back in just like this, and it goes right inside the carrying case. It's a perfect solution for someone that's trying to uh, go from classroom to classroom, let's say, or if you're in the workforce and you want to take it home over the weekend or something, it's, it's very portable in that regard. If you have any questions about the Patriot VRM10, Please do not hesitate to contact us. Our phone number is area code 1-800-364-1612 or visit our website patriotvisionindustries.com. You can also check out more videos on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash magnifyingamerica. Thank you so much and have a great day.